Good evening, guys. This is Tina. In this video, I'm gonna show you long book, okay, and uh, how long book uh, make your coding to be more uh, productive, okay? Saves the times, save your time when you program, okay? And uh, let me switch to the IntelliJ. Most of the time, when you have a project, you need a domain model of object oriented. Uh, um, program right and uh, in this op program or uh, project I will have uh, two models I will create the first one which is employee and when I create employee and uh, I will have some fields one is uh, public long ID and I'm oh, sorry private string first name and the private string last name okay and then probably you're gonna do is uh, generate a constructor all arguments constructor and uh, once you have all arguments construct here the default non-argument constructor doesn't exist because by default if you don't have any other construct you're gonna be exist right so in this case you're gonna select now then you create a default constructor and you're gonna create what you're gonna create data setters for all of them. This is a basic kind of like a structure which might be exist in every Java domain model, okay? And uh, suppose later on, I want to add a address, okay? Each employee will have A, D, D, R, E, S, S. Each employee gonna have address. You in the address, you have to do repeat work, right? String, street, and uh, private, string, uh, what's the, uh, state, okay? Uh, private, string, zip code, okay? And then you will do again, like uh, getters, setters, okay? And this is not the difficult part. And, and okay, uh, once you have address, here I will go back have the address on the employee and every time after you add a new association here you have to come here to add uh, getter setters for the new fields probably you have to change your constructor also have the new added fields and there's other things suppose now I will change this type to be integer not longer not long after you change you have to change the constructor. You have to change getters, setters. If you have two, if you have a hash code equals, you have to do again for those methods. And another thing, if I change a first name to first, I don't want to use in first name. Same thing, you have to change for every place. Okay, every place. And see here, suppose you don't generate the setter getter doesn't match your fields. Sometimes it can might cause, cause the confusion. Okay, but uh, you have to do for almost every Java object, right? Uh, Java uh, Java domain class. Okay, and uh, to make it more efficient, there's uh, another project comes, which is called a uh, long book. With the long book, first step you have to do is go to your palm add the dependency called the long book the group id is org project long book and after using long book then long book provide a lot, lot of the annotations so you can ask long book to generate the getter setters the two uh, two string and hash code suppose in the employee i want to have getter setters you can add a setters, you can add a getter, okay? And uh, now on, uh, if you change the first to be first name, there's no need to change the getter setters because the long book, this annotation, will automatically make the change for you. He will detect a field, he will generate based on the change of the uh, name, okay? Suppose you want to have two strings, you just add a two string. It also have uh, other uh, f uh, attributes in the two string annotations. 
you can exclude, you can call uh, a super or others, okay? And if you want to have equals hash code, you can have equals and hash code. It will generate for you, long book. And another one, suppose you want to have a non-argument constructor, you can just have a non-argument constructor. If you want to have all arguments constructor, it will also have annotation for all arguments constructor. And if you change the last name to last, there is no need to change for all those generated methods as you did before, because the long book will generate based on your change for you. Okay, let me change it back. And uh, uh, you can do the same thing for the address and without generate by yourself using the ID, you can add the getter setters to string hash code equals using those annotations, okay? And uh, since most likely in one domain class, you're gonna have get a setter to string, uh, get a setter to string equals. So there's uh, another annotation called data. Data will contains get a setter to string uh, equals hash code and the required argument constructor. And uh, by the full setter, it doesn't generate a set method for final fields, okay? Suppose you have a fields is a final. It wanna generate the setters for this one, got it? But for getters and two string, you're gonna include. And after you add dependency, you just choose the proper annotation for your domain model. And the next step, you have to ask or set, let your IntelliJ know, okay, you are using long book. So there's additional setting, which is if in IntelliJ, you go to file, you go to settings, and then in the marketplace, you select a long book. Uh, my IntelliJ already installed. And uh, if uh, you haven't installed long book before, here we are kind of have something kind of like this. You just uh, make sure this here is a long book and here have an install button, then you click and after install successfully, you restart your IntelliJ and everything is all set and you are ready to go, okay? So in this video, we talk about the long book and what kind, what kind of thing which long book do for you. And it's pretty efficient when you're using long book, okay? Instead of using the ID to generate the getter setters, and every time you change something, you have to also change it for getter setters, equals to string, hash code, those methods. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.